Hi, my name's Pro Tips for That. Here are my tips for the weekend. My tip for Saturday comes from the game in the Premier League between Leicester City and Crystal Palace. Leicester City are in a great run of form at the moment. They've won the last four uh, in a row in the Premier League. They've won three out of four at home. They, they look really good. This was demonstrated in midweek when they, they thrashed Southampton 4-1. 3-0 up at half-time. Uh, Riyad Mahrez showing that he's got it all. A great goal from Andy King uh, exposing the defence at Southampton. He's 11th consecutive season scoring for the Foxes. Shinji Okazaki with a brace. And they face a Palace side who are rejuvenated. They're actually unbeaten in five games. They've won two, they've drawn three times. And Roy Hodgson really has settled the ship there. But they're still without an away win since April. And they've got little things hanging over them. Uh, they should have beaten Bournemouth, but Christian Benteke decided to take a penalty unilaterally and missed it. And it's these little fine lines that I think are going to cost them. So my tip for Saturday is Leicester City to win at what I think is a fairly respectable 1.86. Hi, I'm Protester Martin. My tips for the weekend are, um, let's start with Saturday. I've gone over to France for this one. It's the game in Ligue 1 between Dijon and Lille. Uh, I've gone for the home win, uh, Dijon to beat Lille at odds of 2.27, which I think is pretty good. Uh, the reason I say that is because... Both aren't doing great, let's be honest. They're both towards the bottom end of the table. Dijon doing slightly better. Um, and they've actually won their last three home games in a row. And they've scored three goals in each of those. And they're against teams in and around them as well. So, you know, they're losing to, you know, your PSGs, your Monacos. But they're not going to define your season. Um, if you want to stay in that league, you, you need to, well, any league really, you need to beat the teams in and around you towards the bottom. And Lille fall in that category. Um, so the last three home games, the wins have come against 17th place Troyes, 14th place Bordeaux, and 16th place Toulouse. Um, so they've got good cracking wins there. And yeah, they could actually go 7th uh, with a victory over Lille if results go their way. So... From their perspective, they're having a cracking season because a lot of them, uh, a lot of the pundits have written them off towards the start of the season, um, suggesting that they'll be fighting for relegation. But they're not quite here yet. And like I say, a win for Dijon against Lille, and they'll be well exceeding expectations, I'd say. And Lille, they're sitting 18 for the minute. They're not having a great season whatsoever. Um, although they did get an away win. At Leon not too long ago, um, which you would have hoped would build a bit of confidence. However, it's what's going on off the field which could well be having an effect on the field. And truth be told, they're in a complete financial mess at the moment. And they've just been banned from buying, buying anyone in the January transfer window, so they can't strengthen there. And yeah, it kind of just turns out that the guy that took over the club in January doesn't have the finances in place that he said he did, and they're spending way more than they're bringing in, and if you read the news in a minute, it looks as though Lille could well be, regardless of what happens on the pitch this season, could well be demoted to to, to League 2, uh, League 2. Um, so I'll see how that one goes, and that can't be having a good effect on the pitch. You know, the players must be affected by that. Um, and yeah, I mentioned that I did get a decent win away at Lyon uh, not too long ago. However, I've only won two in the last ten um, away from home, and yeah, they've got problems. There's no denying that. And I just think Dijon at 2.27 a cracking value. So that's what I've gone with here. Hello, guys. Pro Tipster Paddy here with my weekend pick. So for my Saturday pick, I've gone for the match between third placed Bristol City and eleventh place. Nottingham Forest. I've gone for Bristol City to win this match at 1.87. Uh, Bristol are in really good form. They've won their previous three matches and their home record of their previous 10 games is pretty good as well. They've won five, drawn three and only lost two. Lee Johnson has the Robins playing some really, really brilliant football. They've been scoring lots of goals, lots of great goals as well. And uh, I don't think anyone had really expected them to do so well this season. But now that they're they're flying high, excuse the pun, um, you know they've really got the bit between their teeth. 
and they're they're looking like they're, they're driving towards um, automatic promotion and you know hopefully they'll get it because they're playing great football. I'd love to see them up in the Premier League. Mark Warburton's Nottingham Forest, though, they share a strange stat with uh, Ipswich Town also in the Championship. Neither of them have drawn a game so far this season. That, that's a bit of a mad stat to already to have this, uh, well, I suppose this midway through the season. Forest, though, they're pretty bad away from home, away from the city ground. They've lost their last three away matches, and indeed, of their previous ten away games, they've lost seven, so they're really, really shocking away from home. I've gone then for the Robins to win this match, Bristol City to win this match at 1.87. My tip for Sunday comes from Serie A, the game between Sampdoria and Sassuolo. Sampdoria are not in a great run of form. They've not won in their last three games, but at home, they've not done too badly. Yes, they did lose to Lazio uh, at the start of this month, but before that game, they'd won six in a row at home. They faced a Sassuolo side whose form's a little bit patchy. They've won twice in their last five games, and they've won twice in their last five games away from home. However, those two wins came against 18th place Spal and 20th place Benevento. So, it's not something that you wouldn't have expected. Sassuolo also have the added complication that their best player, Domenico Baradi, is currently being pursued by oh, some of the bigger teams in Italy. And I think his head's been maybe a little bit turned. And is his concentration going to be on the game coming, like, as, like, his transfer is going to happen in January? I'm not so sure. Sampdoria are a fairly respectable 1.79 to win, and that's my tip for Sunday. You can catch me on Twitter as ProTips to Dan, and on Facebook as ProTips to Dan. Follow us on Facebook, join our Facebook groups, chat to us, tell us what your tips are, ask us for any help with betting advice, and we'll try and help you. Thanks for watching. And on Sunday, uh, gone over to Italy for this one. It's Serie A. It's the game between Atalanta and Lazio. And it's quite difficult to pick a result in this one, to be honest, looking at the stats. So I've gone for goals in this, over two and a half goals. And that's coming in at a reasonable 1.72. Um, this fixture last season, um, only 4 3 to Lazio, actually, so there's plenty of goals in that one. And three of the last four meetings have indeed Seen over two and a half goals, which is probably why the price is as it is, but it's certainly worth jumping on in my opinion. Lazio have failed to score just once in the last 29 games, whereas Atalanta have failed to score just once in the last 22 games. So I think we can safely say that there will be goals in this. And let's not forget that Lazio are, in fact, the second highest scorers actually in Serie A behind Juventus. Um, so, you know, of late they've been banging in the goals for fun. Um, but Atalanta at home are pretty formidable. They've won nine and drawn two of their last 11 at home. So let's see how they're going there. Obviously, they're doing okay at the minute. Um, but so Atalanta, they'll be going, you know, into this game full of confidence. And will they cancel each other out? I think there'll be goals. Don't get me wrong, there'll be goals. But I can't pick a winner. It could well be a two or draw or something like that, to be honest. Um, it'd be very, very difficult to, to see Atalanta losing the game. And there's only been actually one draw in the last 19 meetings between the two sides. So, you know, it's due a draw. Um, so two all would, would see the other two and a half come in quite comfortably. Um, so that's what I'm going for here. And where can you find me on social media? You can find me on Twitter or on the Pro Tips to EN accounts. Um, follow us there for uh, plenty of fun and frolics over the week. And I've got my own Pro Tips to Martin Twitter account as well. Uh, that's at ProTipsterM. Give me a follow there. And also on Facebook at ProTipsterMartin, three separate words. So for my Sunday tip, I've gone for the match between Red Bull Leipzig or Ryzen Ball Sport Leipzig, whatever, <laughs> whatever I'm supposed to call them, and uh, Hertha Berlin. Uh, Leipzig are in third position uh, just behind Schalke, while uh, Hertha Berlin are in, stuck in mid-table. They're in a bit of a rut in 11th. Uh, Leipzig, they've had a bit of shaky form recently. They've only won one out of their five previous games in all competitions, but it's their home form that I'm really looking at here. They've been really, really good at home. They haven't lost a match at home since they lost 4-5 to Bayern Munich, and that was last season. Pal Dardy's hurt to Berlin. They're, they're kind of up and down this season. They win again, then they lose, then they draw, and then they win, then they lose, then they draw again. And they've been drawn far too many games. They've lost a good few at home as well. And away from home, they're not doing well at all. They've only won uh, one match. 
so far away from Berlin this season. This is the last round of the Bundesliga before they take their winter break. So traditionally what happens in Germany is the fans go absolutely nuts for the home matches and the home team always make a massive effort to uh, to finish the, the mid-season on a high. So everyone's going to be really, really up for this game. So the home team always come out really, really trying to win and, 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 and to give everyone a little kind of early Christmas gift. Um, you'll see that all across the Bundesliga this weekend. The home, the home teams will have even extra home advantage uh, this week. So, and with, with her to Berlin just being in just just pretty bad form away from home, I can really see uh, Leipzig here steamrolling her to Berlin. So I've gone for Red Bull Leipzig uh, minus one on the Asian handicap market at odds of two point oh two. That's it then from all of us here at. Pro Tipster, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure and hit the red subscribe button beneath this video and you'll get uh, daily tips videos, strategy videos, uh, podcasts and all types of brilliant videos to help you become better at betting on football. Make sure and check out protipster.com as well where you can earn real money by sharing your winning football tips. And that's it from me then. We'll speak to you soon. Good luck.